Welcome back everyone. A common question and even a common thing that I personally went through before I even started reviewing a bunch of technology and stuff was determining which computer was the best one for me. And basically whenever I ran into a situation like this, the best thing I did was do a bunch of research and every single time I did that, I always ended up confusing myself even more. So what I can tell you is, is that if you're getting an iMac or something that you can expand the RAM in, then I would always recommend getting the lowest amount of RAM possible from a brand new market if you're getting a brand new from Apple or whatever, and then purchasing the RAM, you know, third party from Amazon or something. But if you're buying the MacBook brand new, you can't expand the RAM. So whether you're getting the M1 MacBook Pro or the 16 inch MacBook or whatever the case is, what I will tell you is, is that every single option that you have, I would recommend getting the most expensive or the most amount of RAM you can possibly get for that price tag. And the reason for that is because apps are just getting bigger and bigger. And the better you set yourself up in the beginning with, the less you'll basically be able to complain about it in the future. So if you get the 16 gigabyte option of the M1 MacBook Pro or the 32 gigabyte option of the 16 MacBook Pro, you are going to be future proofing yourself for an extremely long amount of time. I mean, 32 gigabytes is going to be more than enough for a lot of apps. Even 16 gigs is going to be more than enough for a lot of apps as well. If you get that 8 gigabyte option for your MacBook, I think it's totally okay for depending on what you're doing, you know. But again, if you want to future proof yourself for the most amount of time possible, then obviously getting that 16 gigabyte option is going to be better. But let me tell you this if you're somebody whose use case, you know, is something like this, you know, you wake up, you take your MacBook to class, or you take your MacBook to online work or whatever, and you don't really do anything crazy, you don't do any video editing you just do pretty much just you know typing papers and f transferring documents and all that good stuff then at that point i probably would tell you eight gigabytes is probably more than enough if you're not gaming on your macbook if you're not trying to do anything too crazy then eight gigabytes will pretty much take you for an extremely long amount of time i mean i'll transfer the same thought process to something like an iphone 7 that phone or even an iphone 6s those phones have two gigabytes of ram but for typical use cases for pretty small apps and stuff like that if you're just doing you know minor things then it's going to be perfectly fine. But once you start, you know, going into that more bigger realm of, you know, playing more, maybe more intensive games, maybe you're doing, maybe you're a graphic designer and you need to transfer a lot of documents over more repeatedly, or you're a video editor, or you make a lot of music and stuff like that, then in that case, it may make more sense for you to go and pick up a 16 gigabyte MacBook. And even 16 gigs isn't a crazy amount, but it's definitely a lot more than that standard eight gigabyte option that you have. Now, I was somebody who actually, you know, a couple of years ago, if you guys follow the channel for that long, you know, I, w I had an eight gigabyte of RAM MacBook Pro that was a 2014 model. And I was using that, I think, up until like 2017. And then I got a 2015 Retina MacBook Pro that was a 13 inch with eight gigabytes in it as well. And I had a really good time with it. You know, I was editing a lot of videos videos, you know, I was uploading like twice a day at that point and I had a really good time with it, but you could be in a situation where you're kind of in that same realm. And I do think eight gigabytes may be enough for you too, but just know that it's definitely going to get bogged down. It's not going to be the fastest thing in the world. And like I said before, you were always going to have that in the back of your mind that, oh, like if I got the 16 gigabyte one, maybe this, you know, app wouldn't have crashed. Maybe this thing wouldn't have reloaded. Maybe this thing wouldn't have, you know, timed out or whatever the case is. So like I said before, in the short term, it really just depends on what you're going to do with it. If you don't think your workflow is going to change that much, if you don't think you're going to be doing a bunch of video editing or anything crazy like that, basically apps that are going to be handling a lot of memory on your computer, then you'll probably be perfectly fine with an eight gigabyte option. But if you go ahead and take that up a notch and you start or you want to go in the future, you know, start programming a bunch of things and executing a lot of things and video editing and all that stuff, then that 16 gigabyte RAM option of your MacBook may be a better deal for you. And it's definitely going to cost you more in the short term, but it will probably pay for itself if you're trying not to upgrade like every two years or something like that. So that's really pretty much it. That's pretty much how I would sum it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else. I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.